So it seems like as well as the growing fan base that Warner Brothers is now jumping on the Wonder Woman craze. It's about time if you ask me. Hello guys, what's up? It's Jonathan here with Infinite Potential Media and today we've received a bit of interesting news in the world of Wonder Woman. It's been reported by Screen Rant and a few other sources that Wonder Woman is expected to start principal photography in June of 2018. Now this is quite shocking in a lot of ways. Um, number one for the fact that the film isn't supposed to be released until the week before Star Wars Episode 9 in 2019 in December. Um, and to start principal photography so early is very unheard of for a lot of films these days. I mean, you hear about films that are almost running out of time in post-production and that's why a lot of the visual effects look terrible, some of the um, editing's a bit sketchy. I mean, we had the same issue with Suicide Squad last year where it was being edited two weeks before it was meant to be released. Hell, year before that, Fantastic Four, or Floptastic Four, depending on how you view the film, um, was being edited two days before the film was released and you know it caused a lot of problems for those films and I'm happy that DC and Warner Brothers are going down this new route of getting things done extremely early. I know for a fact that Batman vs Superman although people don't really like the film in general, I personally am a quite a big fan of the film, um, the ultimate edition as opposed to the normal cinematic edition that, that was released in theatres. Um, yeah, Batman vs Superman, I believe, started principal photography in... Uh, I could be wrong, but I think it was late 2014, and that film wasn't supposed to be released in 2016, so that's over a year in um, principal photography and post-production, which is... It should have been a good, time, good amount of time to... Um, well, <laughs> make it. <laughs> um, but yeah, back to Wonder Woman, obviously, because that's what this video is about. Um, it's like I said, it's been reported that it's meant to start principal photography in June 2018, which is great. So, um, Screen Rant were the people who started to um, break this news in the past few hours. However, um, this originally came from a source called Omega Underground. Um, who reported that it was starting principal photography in that time uh, t but it's also um, being said that it's actually going to take place in the Cold War which could relate a lot to the new Justice League film we've seen behind the scenes images and a lot of the trailers have been shown to take place in Chernobyl um, and obviously that terrible disaster in reality happened in the 1980s so this could be a very interesting subject matter that they could intertwine each film with uh, and make those connections even stronger. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Um, so the small synopsis that's been given so far for the film is the sequel will be uh, sequel will be a period piece with Princess Diana facing off against the Soviet Union during the 1980s. Um, obviously, this doesn't relate to anything Chernobyl, um, but that's what Screen Rant reporting that these two might be intertwined, which would make a lot of sense. Um, and it's it's very interesting dynamic now that we've got with um, all these films being so deeply connected that um, you can almost predict certain things that are going to happen in the next film because of what have happened in the film that you've just seen. But, like I said, there's, there's no real... Um, confirmation whether this is the actual synopsis for the film or that the film is going to start principal photography in June 2018. The date for its release has just been penciled in. Obviously, when you're in pre-production, you've got to pencil in a date, you know, just to make your producers and distributors happy. So that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I'm sure Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot cannot wait to start shooting this film because if you look to the behind the scenes, the interviews, the press junkets, they were the two that looked so pleased with this movie and they just looked like they had the most fun on set which is really what these films should all be about just you know <laughs> I know it's really bad but nothing working on sets myself nothing is worse than someone taking everything way too seriously 
if you don't have a bit of fun, you lose yourself, and the movie gets lost, in my opinion. Um, so seeing these two work together so well is really good because the film was a huge success. It was the highest grossing superhero origin film of all time. So, yeah, I'm excited and I really hope that the um, date of shooting is actually accurate here and by the end of 2018 we will probably have a teaser trailer. So, like I said, can't wait. Um, what do you guys think about this? Do you think that it's uh, an accurate shooting date for Principal Photography or do you think that this is just something that's been penciled in to keep everyone happy? Let me know your thoughts down below and always subscribe.